Hello, it's Miss Bierman, and today we will make a personal totem pole. For your supplies, you'll need a cardboard tube, some Elmer's glue, scissors, a variety of drawing media. I have Sharpies, markers, crayons, colored pencils, also a variety of colored paper. This is um, printer paper that's brightly colored. So I've got um, my scissors and first I'm going to cut the printer paper into smaller strips. I made a variety of sizes to explore with and I'll be attaching the paper strips around the tube. Right now I am testing it out, see how it's going to work as I stretch and explore. So I start cutting out more strips, I'm measuring it against the tube to see how many strips I will need. I've also started cutting out some other shapes, some small squares that I will be using um, as a decorative function of my totem pole. Here is Betsy. Betsy generously drew the characters for my totem pole. The totem pole is about community and or family. Betsy and I are working as a community to create this totem pole together. So I'm actually coloring in her drawings and using colored pencil and also thin sharpie. So here are the characters of my totem pole that Betsy and I made together. Using Elmer's glue, I'll begin gluing these squares onto a larger strip. I want to use a decent amount of glue and I put the glue around the edges of the shape. You want to get that glue almost to the perimeter of the shape and I'm giving it a little press. Again, when you do the glue, you want to draw a line around the perimeter of the shape. Sometimes I'll add some glue in the center as well. And then give it a firm press. If you have glue leaking out of the sides, then you can just wipe it off. Try to use a little less glue if that's what's happening to you. I'm gluing a few strips together horizontally for visual interest. So they were a little smaller. Oh, see, there goes my glue. Um, so I had to wipe that off. If your hands start getting sticky, just stop and clean your hands off. Have a damp paper towel nearby and uh, that will help you from getting too sticky. So now I'm testing out one of my um, strips that has the character glued on it to see how that's going to work. I decided it's a bit long so I'm going to trim it and then I'll set that aside and then measure it against the other strips so they're all about the same length. So I test it again, looks good and now I'll just trim these strips to be about the same length. But I also want the characters to line up in the middle so I was paying attention to that too. Now again, using the glue around the perimeter of the shape and then here I'm adding glue in the center, several lines. It's important to use a good amount of glue for attaching the strips to the paper towel tube. You also have to hold the strips of paper down. You see how I'm pinching it 
going to have to hold it down because the Elmer's glue takes a bit of time to really dry. I'm also pinching the purple square with the character down again as well. So the Elmer's glue is going to kind of slide around as it dries. And you want to pinch areas for 20 seconds to 30 seconds will help keep it flat. I'm overlapping the next strip just a little bit. I don't want to cover up the snake, but I don't want to have any gaps in between the yellow and the pink color. And there I'm really holding it down, giving it pinch, a good pinch. And continuing on, overlapping a little bit, drawing a perimeter of glue, some in the center, overlapping just a little bit. I have a little bit of bare cardboard space at the bottom, but I'm going to color that in later. Now I'm finished for now. I have to let this totem pole dry overnight. Don't be tempted to start drawing on it when it isn't fully dry. It will ruin your markers, first of all. Secondly, it just won't work well. So I let that dry overnight, and now I'm selecting some different colored markers to continue to design and adorn my totem pole. So I've selected some colors, and now I'm looking for some inspiration. I'm going to observe. I have this nice book about um, totem poles, and just started looking through some pictures to get inspired, to get some ideas. If you don't have a book about totem poles like I do, you can look up on the internet or check a book out of the library. So the colors I'm using are much different than a, tra a traditional totem pole. Those are usually more natural colors, like you see on the cover there. But I was inspired by the shapes, and I also thought that I would like to make it somewhat organic looking as in natural. As a totem pole is carved from wood. And I thought, well, I'd like to make the rest of my totem pole look somewhat like wood. It's obviously an abstracted interpretation of wood, but I'm thinking of the way the bark looks. Um, some of the patterns look a bit like leaves. As I colored with the Sharpies, I was taking a very long time, and I decided to engage and persist as I continued along. Um, here I've got a brown Sharpie where I'm drawing in lots of lines to mimic the look of natural wood, as if from a rainbow tree. Here I'm coloring in the base, like I mentioned before. And here is my final totem pole. And I'm going to show you all the different sides. Since it's a three-dimensional object, it would be um, viewed from all around. And uh, I'll tell the story about my community um, another time. But here's uh, my completed totem pole, my media, and my inspiration. Thanks for watching. See you next time.